Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. So, guys, today, um, some of you might have known this guy, you know, he's also a content creator. His yeah. name is Nappy Briggs, you know. Yeah. You uh, didn't pronounce the name well. <laughs> it's Nappy Briggs. It's N A P P I E. So, this is Nappy Briggs, you know. He's, um, he's also a content creator. Mm. And then, you know, most of the time, he interview African American, you know, living in Ghana and in some parts of Africa, you know. He has traveled to some African countries. And so, he has a lot of experience, you know, in this space, like, you know, interviewing African American, you know, talking to them offline and online and all that. Like, he has a good experience with regards to the African American experience in Africa. And, you know, recently, I created a video about, you know, African Americans having challenges resettling back in Africa. And I kind of share my viewpoint from my experiences, you know. You know, growing up in Gambia, you know, and all the experience I've had, you know, being in Ghana. And so, today, today in Ghana, I'm here with Nappy Briggs, you know, yeah. I, want Nappy, I want to share with you, you know, Nappy um, Briggs' point of view, like why some of them are finding it very difficult to settle back in Ghana. So that's about today's video, because there's a lot of negative comments going out there that Africans don't like African-Americans, you know, don't go to Africa. They are this, they are that, they are that. So today is to share with you from Nappy's honest experience about African-Americans and, you know, how they can improve their experience. So welcome to the channel. Brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was a long intro. Yeah. Like, man, this is how we do it. Yeah. So, um, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, today. Sure, sure. I really appreciate it. And then it's yeah. always like that. We support a brother to support a brother, sure. and then we move forward. That's how Africa is. Sure. So, guys, sure. um, I'm really appreciative for yeah. you having me here. So, sure, thanks. And um, yeah, this is how we do it. So, let's take it on. Yeah. So, a lot of the time, you know, African Americans. I mean, you know, I mean, the media. What they've been shown on their media most of the time, from what we see, mm. you know, they are told that Africans don't like African Americans. Yeah. You know, and you've been working in this space for a long time now. What is your say on that? All right. So Africans and African Americans mm -hmm. are not two different things. Mm -hmm. It's the culture mm -hmm. that is making us separated. Right. It's just the culture. We mm -hmm. are not separated. Right. But it's the culture that is not making us come together. Right. So our culture is different. Mm -hmm. African Americans are noted not to have a culture. Mm -hmm. They are noted not to have a culture. Mm -hmm. So we don't hate them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what they are preaching on the internet that mm -hmm. African American Africans hate African Americans. Mm -hmm. That was your question, right? Yeah. Yes. African Amer Africans hate African Americans mm -hmm. is because they are trying their best for mm -hmm. you not to come to Africa mm -hmm. and bring your mindset mm -hmm. of development to mm -hmm. Africa to develop the continent. Mm -hmm. I see you. Because we have all the resources. I see. You guys can come home and develop the continent in just a twinkle of an eye. Right. I you see. Just you. blink and the continent is developed. Got you. Because they, they have the See, a black man produced, a black man developed the traffic lights. A black man developed so many things in, gotcha. in which we are using now in the world. Gotcha. The black man did everything. Gotcha. So if they are giving you this space that Africans hate Afri African Americans, that means you guys are not going to be bothered to even come. I gotcha. Yes, you are going to hide your I gotcha. uh, in America and then spit something to us. I gotcha. So please. We love you guys. We love you so much. For, for the for the for the for, like, for the most part, I don't think Africans have you know negative spirit towards yeah. any stranger. Our, our, our energy is always positive. For the most like, part, I, let me tell you the story. I met this African American, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Why is it our Ghanaians get so much? Like they help exactly. so much. Like exactly. why is it like that?" Yeah. I was like, "This is our culture. Yeah. We like to give. We, we don't have as much, right. but you know, we share the little no, we have. Yeah. No African American or nobody in the diaspora yeah. will let." Her or um, her money go or yeah. his money go just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to pay a price for it. Yeah, I got or it's, it's it's going to be like the closest friend you have yeah. or a closer yeah. family member. Mm, right. it's, it's not like that there, but here yeah. I can go anywhere, call anybody, and yeah. be like, "Bro, Charlie, can yeah. you support me with right. this?" And you are getting it. Right. Yeah. So right. we love you guys. We don't hate you. Yeah. Our, our energy is yeah. always positive. So right. Just come home. Yeah. Right. And I and I watched an African American video recently. He just came to um, Burkina Faso you know Burkina Faso is like a country in West Africa I mean it's a French speaking country in and it's Africa. in West Africa yeah, on top of yeah, the northern side of Ghana and he's an African American this is his first time going there you know he himself was saying that you know before coming to Ghana he was told by his parents or mother that you should be careful Africans don't like you and you know I'm going to share with you what he has to say so far about his experiences you know just for you guys to see for the most part Africa our spirit is positive you know right. it's just understanding that these two different communities of the same country and, you know, need to come together and you know build up the continent. You, 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 you Americans, so you know, people wondering what the fuck you doing out here in goddamn Burkina Faso. Boy, like had, for real. Look, I ain't even connect with my peoples in four days. They probably like that nigga over there dead. 
No, nope. I ain't worried about it. I'm still so soaking it all in. So <laughs> you really in fucking bikini though? Like, how does that? Like, you know, Man. that's crazy though, cause you American, bro. Like, why would you be in this country when they don't even speak English, bro? Like for real. This where I'm supposed to be, regardless of the language barrier. That ain't nothing. That's something small. You to new. To brothers like us, that ain't nothing. Do you think these people like us, bro, or do you think it's a scam? Because, you know, American niggas talking about this African niggas is scamming us, and we, you know, they don't love us, they don't give a fuck about us, blah, 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 all that shit. Like, give me some input on that. I'm glad you asked for that, bro, because my mama told me before I came. Uh-oh, moms. Them <laughs> there Africans, go moms. Look, them Africans <laughs> don't want you. That was she said told. the Africans don't want you? Man, look, I call myself coming to be a humble servant. Okay, a humble servant. But my African brothers make it hard because they want to serve me. Damn, that's crazy, bro. So crazy. you be trying to do something, clean up after yourself, they want to do it for they you. They want to do it. I don't touch they that They want to help you, they want to carry you. We shit. argue. No, no, let me help. No, no, you no help. No, let me help. No, you help. No, let me help. <laughs> so, so... Burkina Faso, my Burkina Bays, mercy buku, mercy, mercy buku. buku. That means thank you very much. Very much. That means thank you very, very much. I love her, bro. I wouldn't want to be nowhere else in the world to tell you the truth. I feel like it's where I'm supposed to be. So you and feel you feel like you have a chance to make it here, though? Do you feel like it's like a like a real chance, or is it more like a vacation? Man, because people think you on vacation, no, probably too. Like you just on vacation. This ain't know? no vacation. This this okay. shit. This my new home. Yes, I'm um, talking about African Americans. Mm -hmm. They are our brothers mm -hmm. and sisters mm -hmm. who have been um, taken away mm -hmm. from us like so many years ago right. and now they are trying their best to come back home right all right so um these people are trying their best to come back home mm -hmm. to support mm -hmm. the, the continent mm -hmm. right. in, in economic uh, yeah. ways social ways and all that mm -hmm. but the kind of living we have here mm -hmm. is totally different mm -hmm. from their kind of living right they have a kind of mentality mm -hmm. that africa mm -hmm. is, is 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 their home right so when they are coming home mm -hmm. No, this is not a mentality. Mm -hmm. They know yeah. that Africa is their home. Right. And Sorry, it is. point of correction. Right. It's, it's, it's their home. Right. So when they're coming home, they need everything mm -hmm. as the same mm -hmm. as the citizens or the locals, right. which is not possible. Right. Because you are, you are not born here. Right. You were born in America. You were born in the UK. You were right. born somewhere right. out of the continent. Right. So if you are coming back home, right. you need to follow the steps, right. not as a foreigner, mm -hmm but just follow the rules mm -hmm. which goes with it it will get to a point things will be so easy to get right. some come with a mentality of getting automatic citizenship, citizenship yeah automatic citizenship comes with by birth mm -hmm. by um, 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 um acquiring a land or marrying someone mm -hmm. acquiring a property let me mm -hmm. say that, mm -hmm. or marrying a local mm -hmm. But these people think, no, mm -hmm. it's not like that. We're mm -hmm. here before they took us away. Mm -hmm. So we are coming for the straight automatic citizenship. I see. I see. Which is not even like that for the locals. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a local and you're not born in that country, yeah, yeah. you can't get the citizenship. citizenship like that, yeah. You're born by two different, um, 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 you're born by, uh, let's say, Gambians, right. but you're not born in Ghana, Ghana. in Gambia. Right. You're born in Ghana. Right. You're not going to get the automatic the citizenship. citizenship. Yeah. You're actually getting it in Ghana. Mm, you're not getting it in Gambia, Gambia. Right, you feel me? Right. So if you are coming, you just follow the rules. And I, I think, I think, I think what Nepi said, like this, is a um, very, very important point because mm. I've seen, like in Gambia, for instance, you know, um, the African American community, you know, the African diaspora, are trying to push for automatic citizenship. You know, right. it's a nice idea, and I think they're having challenges with the government. Mm. But I think it's, you know, it has to do with um, things like what Nepi is saying. I mean, mm. there are a lot of protocols that comes into it, and so it's something that you know it can be improved upon, right. as he said. But right now, it is what it is. Yes. You know. So automatic citizenship, automatic citizenship. Mm -hmm. We wish mm -hmm. it was there for you because you are part of us. You right. Know? We are the same people. Right. But this is the rules yeah. we are following. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. the locals you yeah. need to get passports, ID cards. Yeah. Sometimes it's so difficult here yeah. in Africa. Yeah. And two, mm -hmm. customer care. Mm -hmm. Customer <laughs> care is so different here. Yeah. Man, it looks like we we beg them. To make them rich. I know, right? Because if you are even buying a food, yeah. you need to say, please, can I buy this? Yeah. You are going to give them money, but they waste your time. Right. Which is so different here. Yeah. That's, 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 that, that has been a normal norm here. Yeah. And we are following it. Yeah. So if you come, please yeah. just follow it. Right. Or try to educate them. Right. Don't go hard on them. Because yeah. we don't know. 
Yes, just, that's the thing. We don't know. Yes, we don't know. Yeah. Just like how you people are facing so much. Yeah. Um, um, I'm not going to say the word, yeah. but black and white yeah. thing there. Yes, we don't know. We've yeah. not faced it before, so yeah. we don't know how it's like. Yeah, exactly. Right. So right. if you are coming and you are going to complain about customer services, please try to educate them than complaining. Yeah. Yes. So this is an, uh, another thing that is hindering them yeah. from staying. Oh, I see. And, and the third one is mm. how to acquire properties, mm. how to register properties, mm. how to register businesses, mm. and all of that and mm. other things. Mm. So certain things like um, mm. um, um, even getting a bank account, you mm. need to go through a whole lot. Um, getting um, a, a resident permit, work permit, and even getting this is so difficult yeah. and it's so expensive. So these people, even if you are paying for it, they're still going to waste your time to get it. Mm. So these um, our brothers and sisters out there who are coming home mm. has also find it so difficult yeah. to, 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 to abide by this um, pro protocol. Like so the, the procedure. Yes, yeah. You don't want to go through all this uh, yeah, hectic yeah, yeah, and yeah. then pay so much money and just waste their time. time yeah. That is also part of the customer services. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the last one, which is not the least, mm -hmm. is the kind of system we have here mm -hmm. certain things mm -hmm. are not done mm -hmm. just like your previous video you made about taboos mm -hmm. certain things are not done here yeah. when they come and they do it mm -hmm. and people frown at them mm -hmm. which they don't like mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. they don't like but mm -hmm. like example example like example mm -hmm. um 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 um, so, uh, having affection on, on the main ah, street. on the street, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, so people, affection. Don't, people don't do that here. We're going to frown about that. You just, you just be kissing on the street. No, we don't do that here. Uh, yeah, we frown at those things. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's part of immorality. Yeah. But, yes, mm -hmm. please kindly come mm -hmm. with the mentality of opening a business, especially with the entrepreneurs and the invest investors. Please come to come here and open businesses. That's a company. good point. That's cause, a very good point. Yes, because yeah. please don't come and look for a job. And yeah. the salary you are getting in the US yeah. or in the UK, yeah. wherever you find yourself, yeah. you can't get that here in Africa. Right. Nobody's going to pay you even to half of that of what you're getting there. Yeah. So please, yeah. please, when yeah. you're coming, come yeah. and open the business. So that's the an advice I'll give to you <coughs> when you're coming to that. Right. Now, I, th well, I think this last point is very, very important because right. The, what we have here is already saturated, you understand? And it's also um, because of cultural issues, you know, it's difficult, you know, um, for you with the, you know, for you with your different culture to come and fit in, in a local company. Right. Like this can be very, very challenging. So I think what Nepi said is true. I mean, entrepreneurship is the, you know, the best way out. And there's right. a lot of things we can do in the, in the entrepreneurship right. space. I mean, there are a lot of untapped opportunities, yeah. you know. And one last thing I'll say to you guys, sorry for cutting you. No, 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 no. If you are coming to Africa, please do well to visit mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. We always preach this. Mm -hmm. Do well to visit first. Right. Don't just come with your seven big bags and be like, yes, I'm home. Right. Yes, we are preaching for you to come home, but please visit for a month. Right. Whether you love it or uh, or you will not like it, right. please do visit. Right. See where you can live. Right. See where you can go. Right. And then before you move in.